in my prior life, uh, before doTERRA, I used to be a translator of English and Swedish into Spanish. And I did interpreting a lot of the times. So I was sitting in a booth backstage, putting my voice to the words of the one who was on stage. And I was wishing to be the one sharing my message on stage. That's possible today, thanks to doTERRA. Thank you. For me, integrative health has been a lifelong search. I was born with a genetic disease that made me cough a lot and be sick all the time. So I was always looking for ways to keep my health and stay more healthy. So I am going to speak to you about how health is an integrative approach. And I would not be here if it wasn't for my mother who's sitting over there. She was the first one to research to actually help me do the opposite of what the doctors were saying. I live with my husband and I have a dog and a cat in Sweden, although I am from Spain and they actually missed on the slide, I'm a Spain founder, that's just a few people who are. So what is this about integrative health? I have a YouTube channel and I've been talking about this for six years in more than 400 videos. I studied holistic health coaching to see the relationship of our lifestyle and what we do for health to have health at all levels. I would like to start with some definitions. What is health? And more importantly, what is health to you? How would each of you personally define health? Do we have any Star Trek lovers over there? Yep. Data is an android, and he would have said that health was all systems functioning within establishing parameters. And I think many people consider health just like that. Okay, my body's working, therefore I'm healthy. And the thing is, most definitions are talking about health as the absence of something else, of discomfort. Some definitions would talk about the physical, mental, and emotional aspects. But humans have more than three dimensions, don't we? What I would like to say, what I declare in my YouTube channel, is that health includes the physical, mental, social, emotional, financial, and spiritual dimensions of well-being. And it's not merely the absence of some sort of discomfort. So, I would also like to ask you, do you think that being healthy is the default? I'm afraid a lot of people start concerning about their health once they have lost it. And they are not thinking that you have to work on your health even before to stay healthy. And I would ask you, if you have a car, you should take your car to checkups. You fill it with oil, give it the proper kind of fuel that it needs, and you try to prevent it from breaking down because it's a valuable thing, your car. Now, our physical vehicle is equally valuable, and we need to take care of it before it breaks down. Now, the next step is really how far can we go? And I don't think anybody of us know what is the extent of how, how much health, how much well-being we can have at all levels, and the peaks of human experiences we can accomplish. But I dare say doTERRA can very well help us get there, especially with these launches. So let's see what doTERRA wellness means. At all of these stages, what can we do to improve? And before that, I'll ask yourselves, do you think health is the goal in itself? For me, it's not. And I think most people think that just, I have to be healthy is something quite boring. We want to be healthy to do something. So the question is, in order for you to make the effort of taking care of yourself, where do you want to go? I mean, what do you want to do with it? What is your enticement? So these pictures, two of them have very personal meaning. The first one is me diving in Capri a few years ago, and it's been in my vision board because I wanted to get back to have the lungs to do that. I think I can do that now next summer or something. And the one on the bottom right is my upline, Julia, as she is a mother of six, 
She has run six marathons, a triathlon, and she's working on an Ironman. So she is my inspiration of what you can do on the physical sense. So once you have set some goals, where do you want to go? What is your dream? The next plan is to plan for it, and then that's the next step. How can you actually get in that place you want to go? For me, a very, very basic thing that I don't skip any single day is the nutrition. This is my, my favorite set of products, and please don't ask me to choose one. Lifelong Vitality Pack is uh, crucial for well-being, and if you just ask me which oils can I take for this and that, I would say start with the nutritional first, and you'll get much better results. So Lifelong Vitality Pack is something we take daily in my family. Terrasyme is a huge, I, I couldn't live without this one. It helps me immensely. And then a lot of people think that you have to take some oil if you want to improve your immune system. And I say, PB Assist should be the first choice. Because about 80% of our immune system is in the gut, which most people don't even think about. So, probiotics. And now with MetaPower, I, I have been studying for many years different sorts of diet, like the paleo diet and anything with low carb, because of the blood sugar balance. And I find that's a crucial aspect to being healthy, to have, keep your blood sugar levels steady. And this is something we can be assisted now. I love the MetaPower Assist. I haven't taken this since October. And then the MetaPower Advantage as well. We have seen huge changes in my family and the way that we feel with it. So I really recommend this as a first step to any physical wellness. And here's uh, my morning routine. Every single morning, I put balance and adaptive in the soles of my feet before I put on my socks. It takes literally 20 seconds, and this would be very well spent time. Uh, uh, the rest of the day, you will see that you have less stress, you can cope with anything happening in your life way better and be more focused. So, important morning routine. Coming to the mental health, I work a lot in front of the computer and my brain is often very tired. So, I use in the, starting from the right, Thinker is an oil we use a lot in my family, even though we're adults, to stay focused and concentrated. Uh, motivate is one that I usually also use to keep me motivated, obviously. For the diffuser, I love rosemary and peppermint. Those are a combination that helps me stay sharp with my mind and be more effective in anything that I do. I'm, I'm very productive and I, yeah, I use my brain a lot. And then on guard, as needed for immune system and lemon in the water. Lemon goes in our lunch and dinner water every single day. So those are really big favorites. Coming to the evening, of course, we need to rest. As we have mentioned previously, if you sleep properly, your brain can recover, your body can recover. So copaiba and frankincense, I take a couple drops of each under the tongue every night. And I always have wild orange in my diffuser. The other oils vary depending on the day. Uh, Spanish sage has been a recent favorite of mine to help my brain recover. And then serenity very often. And then for the beauty aspect, I alternate between salubel and yarodol and so forth. The other part is exercise, super, super important. So my personal routine is swimming twice a week and we take walks with my husband every day, provided the weather in Sweden allows for it, which is not always the case, but <laughs> most of the time. So exercise is super important to keep our bodies moving. And then you see in the Dutera slides, they say eating right. I could have a whole presentation about this. What is right will be depending on what is right for you. Every person is different and you have to find out how your body likes it at present. And those needs may change over your life. Maybe the way you like to eat when you're 20 is not the same when you're 40 and when you're 60. So be mindful of how you personally feel best. And I love low carb alternatives. So that takes care of the physical, mental, and emotional. Going over to the next section would be spiritual health, and um, that would be different needs for different people. We know in the emotional realm that frankincense implies a connection with your father, 
whether it's a spiritual father or a physical one, and mer a connection to the mother. Tea trees are very good ones for establishing healthy boundaries and cleansing from any energy you have might have picked up. I love cardamom to improve vision and be able to visualize goals and mental creativity. And then console is very good for multiple things and it helps me stay centered and get in contact with my heart. And um, it's not always for being sad, it's just for reducing stress and being more effective. Social health, I would definitely say go to events such as this one. This picture is from Italy last September and I love being with my doTERRA friends and enjoying the time together. So we, we are social beings as human beings and even though I work online for the most part, it's nice to meet people in person. Then we have a financial health and you might say, well, why financial health? I think if we reduce our financial stress, that would definitely be good for overall health. But it's also to be able to afford the quality of life that you wish for. We have solutions at doTERRA and the question is, where do you want to be? And I would like you to think, it's not just what you want to get or uh, how much money you want to make, but what kind of person do you want to be? and explore and grow from there. When it comes to working, I love that Jutera also gives you the option of choosing which way of working is best for you. You can do physical classes, obviously. I have done very few myself. I work online, so I love sitting in front of my computer. And I also love working on the go. So there's a lot of options, even online, offline, as you choose. And that will cover our six aspects of integrative nutrition, you know, integrative health, which is um, uh, well, very much in a nutshell. I have been exploring this topic. I recently actually wrote a book and got it translated into English this week. So I'm <laughs> ready here. The, thank you, the health detective as well. Because I think, I, I always keep telling people, please don't stay on the surface. You have to dig deeper and find out the root cause. In doTERRA, we can often say, okay, like, I'm stressed. I'll take some oil to get less stressed. But if you start asking questions, what is beneath that? Why did you get stressed? Are there some mental patterns there? Is there something you were eating that was making you stressed? There's so many layers to our wellness. And I would like to invite you to really ask questions and find out what is hidden beneath, what is making you get discomfort or any other thing you're experiencing. Because if you actually go and target the root, what is beneath, you will get much better solutions at all levels. And that's why also I love uh, starting with the nutrition, because it will help a lot of the, of the ground stuff so that then you have better health. And actually, I have time left over. So thank you for listening to me. I just started a social media in English, so feel free to uh, check out my channel soon. Thank you.